Have you been hibernating in a cave? If so, it's time to wake up because the January transfer window is here. Okay, it might not have the glitz and glamour of the summer spree, but hey, some clubs can take advantage during this period. Convinced? No? Well, hold on to those scarves, smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell louder than a stadium cheer. We're about to dive into the top 10 most jaw-dropping January transfers in football history. Let's roll. Let's turn back the clock to the oldest jump on our list. A move so legendary, it could be a football fairy tale. Imagine, if you will, Mo Salah switching sides to Manchester United. Shocking, right? That's the kind of uproar Sir Alex Ferguson stirred up with Andy Cole's seismic shift from Newcastle to Manchester United on the 10th of January 1995. A cool £7 million clinked in the transfer kitty, smashing the British record like a striker's boot through a weak defence. Newcastle fans, oh, they were more than just miffed. Cole was a goal-scoring hero, netting a whopping 68 goals in 74 appearances. But what he accomplished at United, now that's the stuff of legends. He bagged 121 goals in 275 games. But wait for it, it was his bone-chilling striking partnership with Dwight York that truly etched his name in United folklore. Their combined 35-goal tally in the 98-99 season was a key ingredient in United's treble recipe. Any doubts? Just ask a Juventus fan from back in the day. Mention that duo and watch them shiver with flashbacks. Whilst we're on the topic of magpies, let's swoop into their 2022 January coup. A move so sharp, it transformed Newcastle from football sleeping beauty to a serious wide awake powerhouse overnight. Out with the old, in with the new. Farewell John Joe, he who must not be named Shelby. And roll out the red carpet for Bruno Guimanes. Bruno, bagged for a mere £40 million. Pounds. Wasn't just a band-aid for Newcastle's relegation scare. He was the entire first aid kit. Not only did he steer the team clear from the depths of the drop zone, but he also played a pivotal role in their stunning fourth place finish in the 22-23 season. Hello Champions League, long time no see since 2002. And he is the real head scratcher. How did the top clubs miss out on Bruno? Seriously, he could have been a midfield magician for teams like United. But who are we to judge right? Maybe splashing 100 million pounds on Anthony is the smarter move. Or maybe not. Let's just say Newcastle's gain was definitely someone else's loss. All right, United fans, no hard feelings. Let's make amends by shining the spotlight on another Bruno, Fernandez. Arguably the best deal in the post-Fergie era. Why the sour grapes from rival teams? Simple. Bruno stormed into the league, breaking records as if they were mere training cones. Remember 2021? That was the season he shattered Frank Lampard's long-standing record for the most goals scored by a Premier League midfielder in a single season. For a cool £67 million, pounds, United bagged a staggering 128 goal contributions in 211 appearances from Bruno. Just pause and ponder for a second. Imagine a Manchester United meticulously built with Bruno as its beating heart. The possibilities, the glories. Alas, it's a tale of what could have been. But hey, don't lose hope just yet, United fans. There's still time for your captain to hoist those coveted trophies high. Talking about midfield maestros, remember Alan Halilovic, the young prodigy Barcelona scooped up. Sadly, his career didn't quite match the height, but in a contrasting tale, there's Martin Odegaard, plucked by Real Madrid, another rising star in the same era. Odegaard's journey in Madrid was a bit like a roller coaster, but then came his move to Arsenal in January 2021, and boy, did that change the game. It's no overstatement to say that Odegaard has been a linchpin in the Gunners' resurgence under Arteta, with an impressive tally of 50 goal contributions in 130 appearances, all for the bargain price of just £30 million. Pounds. His performances have been nothing short of stellar. Real Madrid usually has a Midas touch when it comes to transfers, but this time, they might just be kicking themselves. However, when it comes to talent scouting, precisely unearthing Brazilian gems, Real Madrid are in a league of their own. No, we're not talking about Vinicius or Rodrigo. It's their acquisition of the legendary Marcelo in January 2007 for a mere £6 million. Marcelo, a maverick of a left-back, was as menacing as top-tier wingers. His stats at Real Madrid are eye-watering. 38 goals and wait for it, 103 assists. And his trophy cabinet is like a mini museum, brimming with 25 trophies, including five Champions League titles. It's hard to imagine another left-back matching his calibre anytime soon. He truly set the bar sky high. The rhythm of Brazilian samba is irresistible, isn't it? Speaking of which, let's not forget about Liverpool's January 2013 masterclass, snapping up a certain Brazilian maestro for just £8.5 million. But let's put aside his 99 goal contributions, his mesmerising dribble
labels and those signature curlers. The real reason this deal is so legendary, Klopp's savvy business sense, flipping him to Barcelona for a whopping 142 million, only to witness his downturn in Spain. This was a classic case of buy low, sell high, with Barcelona on the losing end. Not only did Coutinho underwhelm at Camp Nou, but he also returned on loan with Bayern to haunt them with two goals in the unforgettable 8-2 Champions League drubbing. Talk about a deal that keeps on giving, at least for Liverpool and Bayern. But hold your horses, Liverpool's January track record has an even brighter star, Luis Suarez. Yes, many forget it was January 2011, alongside the unforgettable Andy Carroll, that Liverpool struck gold. The trajectory of both players' careers couldn't have been more different, and the cost for Liverpool, a mere £22.8 million. Pounds. Suarez's numbers are staggering, 82 goals and 46 assists in just 133 appearances, averaging nearly a goal involvement per game. Despite his lack of titles at Liverpool, Suarez more than redeemed himself at Barcelona. He became an integral part of the legendary MSN trio. So maybe, just maybe, Barcelona can view the Coutinho deal through a more forgiving lens when they remember the magic of Suarez. Now brace yourselves, because Suarez might not even hold the title of Liverpool's best January transfer. That's right, there's another key player who not only helped Liverpool end their 30-year title drought, but also secure the Champions League. You guessed it, Virgil van Dijk. Under Klopp, Liverpool was already on the upswing, but their defence, as watertight as a sieve, enter van Dijk in January 2018, scooped for a whopping 75 million. Sure, there was chuckles and raised eyebrows over the hefty price tag for a centre-back, but looking back, that sum seems like peanuts compared to the monumental impact he's had transforming the Reds into an unstoppable force. He was the missing piece of the puzzle, the cornerstone of their defence, somewhat akin to Maguire's role at United. OK, OK, that's too many digs aimed at United fans. So let us revisit something that only the legendary Ferguson is capable of doing. This wasn't just a single masterstroke. It was a double whammy with the signing of Patrice Evra and the Serbian Terminator Nemanja Vidic. Remember that chant from the United fans? He comes from Serbia. He'll <coughs> murder you. That's Vidic for you. These two were more than just signings. They became legends, forming a back line alongside Rio Ferdinand and Gary Neville that struck fear into their rivals. Their accomplishments, stellar. Five Premier League titles, three League Cups, five Community Shields, and a Champions League title. No wonder Patrice Evra is always saying, I love this game. With a legacy like that, who wouldn't? For our grand finale, imagine acquiring one of football's goats without a transfer fee. Well, not exactly free, since you end up making him the world's highest paid athlete. We're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo's jaw-dropping move to Al Nasser in January 2023, following his departure from Manchester United. It sounds like a surreal turn of events, doesn't it? Ronaldo's stint at United was a roller coaster with less than ideal results, limited playing time under Ten Hag, and even a refusal to come off the bench against Spurs. Many thought his move to the Saudi Arabian League marked the end of his prime. Yet, defying all odds, Ronaldo finished 2023 with a staggering 54 goals scoring every other player globally. OK, the Saudi Pro League isn't at the same level as European leagues, but achieving such a feat at 38, that's nothing short of remarkable, especially when contemporaries like Benzema and Firmino couldn't even come close in similar conditions. And that's a wrap, folks. Those were some crazy deals right now. Before you start hurling tomatoes our way, remember, this list isn't in any particular order. It's your turn to play the judge. How would you rank these deals? And are there any other January stunners you you think deserved a spot on our list. We're all ears for your thoughts, so drop them in the comments below. And hey, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we can't wait to see your rankings and suggestions.